my foolproof house. The structure of my house is very simple and is placed a few feet above the ground. This is to prevent the lower part of the house to drown. We need to make sure the inside of the house is waterproof as well as the outside, so to ensure that the floors of the house are not soaked by the disasters, I place tiles in the kitchen and floorboards all around the house ground. By this, water will not be able to be absorbed into the floorboard. The reason why I chose these two materials is because they can easily dry out once the flood has gone. If a flood occurs, it is most likely going to damage your walls, meaning they will either fall down or make the walls extremely damp. To stop this, I fill each brick with waterproof cement which can, com which can come in many forms. However, they are very expensive and prices start at about £20 to £105. I then painted a layer of waterproof coating on top to prevent the bricks from becoming damp. On top, I placed a dimpled plastic membrane which protects the wall from moisture. Technology can become dangerous around water and I'm certain no one wants to become electrocuted during a flood. For safety, I will place all plug sockets high above to ensure no water will enter the plug, attach the TV to the wall and make sure the wires are hidden. Around the household there will be many shelves mounted onto the walls to place val valuable items on top of them to make sure they do not become damaged. Once the flood has occurred, you may have to replace old furniture. To save money, I place leather sofa instead of fabric made ones, as fabric sofas will absorb the water and become damaged. As my house has floorboards, it may get cold, so I place rugs in the house as they can easily be removed from the house on light carpet. If the water is higher than expected, what do you do to rid of the water inside your house? To rid access water, I place lots of drainage pipes around the house so that the water can escape back outside. As well as this, I place small drains in unseen areas of the house. Also, I placed a third aid kit in a visible place to use in the flood. In it, it would contain torches, water, as tap water will become hygienic, unhygienic, a first aid kit, radio and a telephone to contact for help.